Hey there, this is Vlad from the Insurance Sales Lab. And in this video, I'd like to go over one of the most controversial topics that insurance agents always debate when it comes to tracking metrics in your agency. Now, let's suppose you have one, two, or three team members working in your agency. They're sales producers. And you're thinking, okay, what metric should I be tracking every single day? Is it the number of phone calls that my team members are making? Or is it the amount of time that they're spending on the phone? Which is more important, the number of phone calls or their talk time? I'm going to go out and say that neither one of those metrics has a direct correlation with how much business your team members write. Here's what I mean by that. Let's suppose you have a team member, and we're going to call them team member number one, who is on the phone from 8 o'clock till 5 o'clock every single day. They're making 200 calls a day. They are busy. They are on the phone practically all day. But the problem with this producer is that they present the price and they say, all right, prospect, what do you think about the price? It'll be $200 a month for your insurance. And they stop there. They don't actually ask for the sale. And that's what they do with every single phone call that they have. And compare that to team member number two. The second team member doesn't make 200 calls a day. They don't even make 100 calls a day. They make just 50 calls a day. But with every person that they talk to, they get to the end of the call, they present the options, and then they say, so how do you want to get started with us? They present option number one, option number two, and they say, what credit card do you want to use, Visa or MasterCard? Every single time that they get to the end of the call, they ask for the sale and they ask for their payments information. They say Visa or MasterCard. And then if the prospect gives them an objection, they overcome that objection and then they ask for the sale again and they ask Visa or MasterCard. Which of these two producers do you think is going to write more business? The one who has a lot of activity but doesn't ask for the sale or the second producer who may not make as many phone calls but asks for the sale every single time and overcomes objections? Of course it's the second one. The second producer is going to demolish the first one simply because they're asking for the sale. Now, let me be clear. I am not suggesting that you don't make a lot of calls and you don't spend a lot of time on the phone. What I am suggesting is that you track the number of asks for the sale that you do on a daily basis as the primary metric to see how your team members are doing. And here's why. The reason I like tracking asks for the sale is because that's the closest activity that you can exhibit to actually closing the sale. Asks for the sale is the closest thing you can do to actually closing the sale. Now, if you're thinking, okay, I like this, but how many asks for the sale should my team members be doing? Or how many phone calls should my team members actually be making on a daily basis? Here's how I would look at that. If you have team members working in your agency, I would recommend that every sales producer asks for the sale four times a day. If you ask for the sale four times a day and you use a sales script like this, the six step script, the one call close, then you should be able to close out of the four people that you talk to and you ask for the sale, you should be able to close at least one household per day. One household per day equates to about three policies, say two cars and a home. So let's run the numbers on a daily and then monthly basis. On a daily basis, you're asking for the sale four times a day. You're writing one household, which is three policies, two cars and a home. And you're doing that every single day. How many days are there in a month? Typically about 20 business days. So over the course of the month, if you're doing that every single day, you would write 20 households or 60 policies for the month. Think about that. Four asks for the sale per day will translate to 60 policies for the month if you're closing one household a day. Now imagine if your producers are building value, they're overcoming objections, and they're better on the phone, and they're not closing one out of four prospects, but they're closing two out of four prospects. How much business would they write then? Well, that would just double their production. Instead of it being 60 policies, now it's 120 per month. 120 policies per month. You might be watching this and thinking, well, this seems all too simple, and it is. Sometimes you just have to simplify what it is that you're tracking and bring it down to the very basics. I boil it down to these two things. If you wanna write 100 policies per month, you have to do this. 
you have to, first of all, use a sales process, a proven sales script on every phone call and not just wing it every time, but use a proven sales process and do that enough times per day. And the key and magic number is that at the very minimum, ask for the sale four times per day. And if you just stick to that on a consistent basis, within a few months, you'll get to a point where you're writing 100 policies per month. There's a very famous, very popular movie out there that you may have seen called Moneyball. Moneyball is based on a true story. It's a story about uh, a baseball team from 2002, uh, the Oakland A's, where they hired a new general manager. His name is Billy Bean. And he did something that was absolutely fascinating, mind-boggling. And it's, it's something that um, is discussed to this day. And he did this. When he was hired as a general manager, he was told that the team doesn't have a lot of money compared to some of the other baseball teams. They're on a budget and they can't afford to bring on really expensive, really good players. And back then, the way they looked at uh, good players was that anyone who has a really high batting average was considered to be a good player. And he, since he couldn't afford some of these players, he started looking deeper into the numbers and thinking, okay, is there a different metric that I could be looking at to see how good these players are? And with the help of one of his assistants, he found a metric called on-base percentage. And this metric was overlooked by other general managers. This metric simply calculated the number of times that these players make it to the first base, just make it on base. He doesn't care if they hit home runs, if they hit doubles, if they hit singles, if they just walk to first base. All they want to do is just make it to first base because his philosophy was if we can just get on base, then we'll score more runs. If we score more runs, we'll win more games. And that's exactly what happened. The Oakland A's in 2002 absolutely crushed it. And everybody was trying to figure out how did this team with a group of absolute no names. I mean, these players were on their way out. A lot of them were older. They were playing in the wrong position. They were not supposed to do well that year, yet they did. And when the story came out that this team was put together by this general manager and the statistic that he looked at was their on base percentage, they realized that, okay, maybe over the last hundred years, we've been tracking the, the wrong metric. Maybe the batting average is an important number to track, but not the most important number. How does this translate to insurance? How does this relate to insurance? Well, in baseball, they, change the way that they look at players and they look at on-base percentage as a very important metric. In the insurance industry, I often hear agents and everybody really talking about phone calls, more phone calls, more phone calls, more talk time as the way to write more business. And that's simply not true in today's day and age. What you should be doing is slowing down the conversation and being more methodical with your phone call. Use a proven sales script. Don't just wing it every time. Use a proven sales script and ask for the sale at least four times a day. If you do that, you'll be golden. So if you're watching this video and thinking, all right, I'm in, how do I get started with this? Well, the first thing you should do is start tracking your asks for the sale. The one downside with that is that your CRM, your phone system will not give you that information. It's something you have to uh, track manually. So one of the simplest ways you can do that is by filling out this daily domination tracker. And you can get access to that. I'll include a link right below this video. It's a form that you print just once a week. And if you're a sales producer, you just put this on your desk. And every day when you're on the phone, you're making phone calls. Once you have a conversation with a prospect, you would write down their name and write down whether or not you asked for the sale. And you do that with every single phone call that you have. And at the end of the day, you can just calculate the total number of asks for the sale you had and see, okay, today on Monday, I had four asks. On Tuesday, I have eight asks. And you track that on a daily basis. And if you do that, then that is a far more effective uh, metric to track than just looking at call reports. Now, the second thing you need is a sales script. If you don't already have the six-step script to the one call close, which is considered by many to be the most powerful sales script in the insurance industry. This script is what I personally use to write over 150 policies per month. That's right, one producer writing 150 policies per month. I've shared this script with hundreds of agents across the country 
who are now writing 100, 200, in some cases, over 300 policies per month. If you want to see how this script works, I'll include a link right below this video where you can register for a free training. It's a 60 minute training, which will break down exactly how the script works in a real phone call. So if you want to write hundred policies per month as one producer, or you want your producers to write hundred policies per month, you got to make sure that you're tracking asks for the sale and following a proven sales script. Both of those things you can access by taking a look at the links below this video. If you like this video, make sure you share this with your team members. Make sure you share this video with other agents in your area. With that, I wanna thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more. Take care.